Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. I am steadily getting better from my strep throat. <laughs> not quite there yet, so forgive me if I'm not quite as animated as maybe I usually am. But I was, as you know, Stampin' Up's going through our, uh, our retiring list came out and um, trying to use up some different things. Uh, that I've had lying about. So some things we're going to do. Um, on my silhouette cameo, I had cut out these unicorns, and I grew up showing Morgan horses, and so horses have a special place in my heart. And I just love this die cut of this unicorn. So um, if you don't have this, just cut out whatever image you want for what we're going to do. It doesn't have to be a unicorn, but I really loved the silhouette look of him. piece of black that is cut to an A2 size card, 5.5 by 4 and a quarter. I have very vanilla that is cut to um, uh, four by five and a quarter. So those are going to go ahead and just get adhered down. Uh, I have a piece that is, I was playing around with that. Uh, let's see, I've forgotten now what this is. This is four by three and a half. Two, um, two of the stitched squares, the ones that are um, oh, two and three quarters, and then the one right below that. And when you run them through your big shot together, maybe put some washi tape there so that they uh, stay, let me show you on here, so that they stay like that. Um, and when you run them through, uh, you will get, uh, the square will pop out, so you can use this for another project. Um, and you will get a fun little frame to use. So that's why I did that there. So I'll save that for another time. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by adhering this down. And um, I'm going to stick this down. So. Okay. And then kind of a simple simple card really. Um, it's nice to have some simple cards in our arsenal. Alright, so that is the main part here. So I'm going to take, we have these, uh, these are retiring, these mini paper clips and they come in white, silver, and gold. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, a lot of our embellishments pretty much retire with the new catalog coming out because they make way for new ones. So if you've got those lying about, then you can go ahead and use those, or you could use a regular size paper clip too, that would be fine. So it kind of looks like it's kind of hanging on there, because essentially it is. And then we're going to go ahead and put our little guy here. All right. Kind of want his legs to show you there, just like that. I had some um, vanilla. I think it's vanilla now. I've taken the packaging off and I've had it a while. Uh, twine that I'm going to go ahead and cut, and by some miracle from above, I managed to make a bow on top of that. Because <laughs> I am usually not the Bowmeister, let's just say that. Um, you could do different things with this. You could hang it... Uh, let's see, where do we want to hang this? You can go ahead and use a glue dot. I don't want to completely cover up my paper clip. And then you can just kind of roll that so that it fits behind your knot there, if that makes sense. Or you could use your fine tip glue applicator, that would work as well. Give it a good press, add some texture to the party there. And I love the stamp set, All Things Thinks. It, it just has tons and tons of stuff, and I don't think this is retiring, if I remember correctly, um, which is a good thing, because it's really a good one. And so I'm going to use use the um, You Are Amazing, because I was just thinking, you know, unicorns are amazing. I would love the word magical on there, but I don't have the word magical on there. So I'm just going to go with that. And actually, before I stamp that, I'm going to do a bit of... St 
trying to decide if I want to do some speckles to match. Here we go. Touches of texture. Let's go for that. Put there. Why not break out all our stamp sets, right? Uh, so let me double check that. Yeah, that's a little more less dense for our card there. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that right on there like that. You are amazing. Okay, and there you have it. And then you just put this on a card base. I would use the berry vanilla, and um, and then you can stamp some sentiment sentiments inside as well. But super quick, an easy card, A2 size, so it fits in envelopes and things very easily. You don't need extra postage. It's got texture. It's got a little bit of gold, and a little bit of fun with those speckles and things. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you need anything, any retiring items, they will be available while supplies last. So you might want to get on in there. Go check out my website, CynthiaMaynard.com, and, and click on the link to go to my Stampin' Up! site and order the products. Of course, you won't be able to order the unicorn, but um, everything else, uh, unless it's sold out, uh, should be available. And thank you guys. Have a great day.